We're back at the beer garage with a brand new brew. Today we're going all the way to Bloomfield, Connecticut to try a brewery called Thomas Hooker, named after a settler who settled in Boston, became a pastor and established the first church in the Cambridge area of Boston. Cool little history tidbit onto the beer. We got no filter. New England IPA. I'm trying my hand again at IPAs because there's only like a very fair few that I enjoy. So let's see if I enjoy this one. This one has uh, citra and mosaic hops. Citra hops obviously is gonna be more on the, the citrus side of things. And the mosaic hops, you can get anything from a blueberry to a grassy pine note. This is 7% alcohol by volume. One pint in the can here. Love the colors on this can, it really pops. Let's get it into a glass and see what we get. Ooh. Alrighty, that head is hugging the glass there. Look at that nice apricot, hazy apricot color in the glass there. We got a <laughs> four finger head that's just not dying down. No big deal, I probably have it in the wrong glass, but let's get the scent. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, okay. I'm getting like a berry, I'm getting like spices, I'm getting grasses. Getting a lot of that grassy citrus note from the from that hop. I can't tell if I'm getting like a little bit of a berry or if it's just in my mind. But other than that, it smells pretty good. Um, yeah, nothing turning me off yet. So let's dive in and see what it tastes like. Cheers. <laughs> ah, hold on. I need to adjust the flavors. I need another sip. I'm confused. <laughs> You know what? It, it's like, there's like a manageable amount of bitterness from the hops. You get a little bit of that piney, grassy note, just a little bit of it, but enough to carry the body of the beer. I'm getting your wispy citrus, I'm getting your, your grapefruit and your mango, the tropic flavors, more leaning towards the mango end of things. You know what? I don't know if I like this. I'm starting to acquire the taste for this, maybe. I'm still staying away from the ice cream concentrate bullshit IPAs, but as far as this goes, you know what? No complaints at all for me. It is still on kind of that funky, like, dank side that kind of just still has me, like, you know, that reaction. <laughs> but I'm getting used to it. I'd like to think. The previous IPA I really did not like. This one, about 50-50. So... Hopefully the next IPA I, I, I will enjoy. Again, there's only a fair, fair few that I do enjoy. That includes Maine Beer Co. That, they're the only brewery that I enjoy their IPAs uh, across the board. But that's about it. So I need to find more IPAs, guys. What other IPAs can I try? Leave it down in the comments below, and I'll, I'll try it out. I'll shout you out as well. And, uh, and yeah, let's rate it. Color? I like that color. Typical New England IPA color. I love how bright and, like, just refreshing it looks. I'm gonna give it a 7, 8 out of 10. No, no, fuck it. Give it an 8. Smell. Oh, you get almost like a little bit of an alcohol essence on the nose as well. A little bit of an ethanol burn. Planty, hoppy, a little bit citrusy. I'm gonna go 7, 5 out of 10. Just personal, personal preference. And on the taste, I'm gonna leave that at a solid 7 out of 10. And yeah, that was my review of No Filter New England IPA from Thomas Hooker out in Bloomfield, Connecticut. If you're in that area, go check them out. If you see this out and you like IPAs, definitely pick it up because you will enjoy this. I'd highly recommend it. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of this beer. You go enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see you back at the next beer garage.